I was just mentioning temperatures jumping up into the 80s by the end of the work week. We'll notice as we kind of take a look at how the rest of this work week is panning out. Tomorrow, mid 60s, same through Wednesday. Then we're jumping up into the 70s through Thursday, Friday, 80 degrees. The weekend, slight little bit of a decrease. However, we are still sticking around with above average temperatures by about a full 10 or 15 degrees. And that's through this high pressure ridge that's going to build over the Great Basin and kind of center itself right on over us. So that's what we're expecting with lots of sunshine, minimal cloud coverage, and of course those 80s on the way. We'll notice in terms of our future cast that even as we kind of go to sleep tonight and even wake up tomorrow, get into Tuesday evening, still clear skies locally. The only little bit of action that could be of any interest is maybe over those northern mountains. A little bit of some snow hitting the ground, but mind you, it's going to be very short lived and very, very minimal accumulations due to that high sun in the sky before that clear is on out. And again, wraps up the work week and gets into the weekend with beautiful skies. Nationally, this is what we're watching in terms of that high pressure ridge I just mentioned as it builds and builds and builds off that west coast, bringing in all of this warm, dry spring air. That also means we're still in a drought over Grand Junction and even over Alamosa. We're actually in that severe drought. Those yellow areas just means we are in that dry zone. And as we get into this spring season, we are possibly looking at some more showers through April. April showers bring May flowers, but then summer is just around the corner. Hopefully we get a little bit more moisture to maybe get out of that severe drou uh, drought before we get into that summer season. Now outside on America's Mattress Live Tower Cam, we do have some low lying elevation clouds, but overall those beautiful blue clear skies are sticking around for us this evening. And again, yes, for the work week and feeling 58 in Grand Junction, 54 through Montrose. We'll even notice earlier today, that's what that afternoon high was. That's exactly what we hit during around that maybe 3, 4 p.m. hour, which is shy of those seasonal averages, but again, that's going to shift as we look forward. Now from the Allergy and Asthma Center of Western Colorado, we are looking at an excessive amount of tree pollen, low grasses, low weeds, just a tad bit of some mold pollen with us. And we'll notice this evening, we're also just right at that sub freezing range. 32 degrees seen in Grand Junction, 33 in Moab, 28 in Montrose. However, as we look into tomorrow, I did mention we're jumping up. We're feeling 60s, even upper 50s as we look towards Montrose. And I do have these cute guys hanging out with me this week. We're going to notice those peak temperatures in those 60s are still not happening until those late, late afternoon hours. And please feel free to send me a photo of your pup at jsage at .com. Now, tonight we are getting down to that sub-freezing range, but the last hard freeze typically in Grand Junction is not seen until April 22nd. So that is still two weeks away. Keep that in mind. And maybe tonight still take those plants in and Keep an eye on that as you continue to take those plants inside for maybe the next couple of weeks before we finally jump up above those averages and above that sub freezing range. Discovery Auto Group seven day forecast has those temperatures again slowly increasing. That uh, warm temperatures and those clear skies are going to continue through the weekend. Early work week, maybe a tad bit of some wind, and we'll be on a little bit of a uh, maybe storm watch as we look towards Monday as well. But for now, maybe make some plans. Get outside. It's going to be pleasant and not windy, uh, unlike this past weekend. Uh, and maybe get those shorts, those t-shirts, those sandals, and that sunscreen out.